Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. Guys, I am going to get back to um, to doing readings for y'all. I've just taken a momentary break simply for the reason because I'm now working in the evenings instead of the mornings. So my time has shifted. And because my time has shifted, my energy levels are now different. So um, I am going to start doing readings at night and then posting them for the next morning. But um, I'm still trying to get into a, um, into a schedule where I'm my body's you know, because I'm, so I'm older now and it takes longer. But anyway, the reason why I did this video is because I wanted y'all to know. Sometimes we don't, the universe gives us a sign of something and we don't realize it's a sign. So this is when you don't realize the universe is giving you a sign. So I did a video a while back and I had been reading, I had started reading again because I go through phases and I was reading a lot of fiction and it seemed like every book I picked up, I found just one or two sentences in that whole book that made me think about something. It made me, it resonated. It, it brought back a memory or it made me think about, well, gee, that's true, you know? And it's just been one or two little things. Well, this morning I'm watching um, the uh, Libra reading by MJ at Soulful Revolution. And she's talking about some kind of new information coming in, whether it be a book, a person, it doesn't matter what the vehicle is that it gets to you, right? Well, um, I'm wondering if on a subconscious level I am listening to the universe because yesterday me and one of my clients went down to the library and I suddenly decided, okay, well, I need to, I need to, I want to read, start reading some more nonfiction books. So I picked up two, they're actually still in the car. I picked up two, one is about love and healing and one, um, what is the other one about? Um, I think it's something along the similar lines, but at any rate, um, and the other three are fiction. So I'm like, you know. That kind of resonates with her saying that on the Libra reading, because I'm a Libra moon rising. And I thought, you know, when I said that a while back, I probably should have started checking out more nonfiction books to see what I knew I could learn, what um, what would spark my intuition, what would spark my intelligence, what would make me say, you know, hey, this is true for me. Um, because we never stop growing, we never stop learning. So... Um, these new two other two books, I'm going to start reading them. And um, I also have my psychic development book, which I've talked to y'all about before by um, Hewitt, William Hewitt, that I'm going to, um, I actually want to start finding time for that. So um, it's not going to be too much longer and I'm not going to be um, working the two little part-time jobs because I just, I just have some, um, once I have the more money coming in, um, I mean, I'll still be friends with them and everything, go check on them and all that good stuff. But as far as going and spending an extra um 15 to 20 hours a week between the two and the one lady's already told me she goes she said you know since i'm not having surgery now the two hours you come and spend with me is just you're just coming to spend time with me because i really don't need you for anything anymore she goes but you need the money and i want someone to talk to you and i like it when you take me to the library so and which is part of what we can do um working for ihss is taking clients to run errands and stuff because this lady's um almost 70 and the other lady's close to 72 so close to 70 years old too so um i am enjoying that because i'm now 60 so 72 is not too far away guys time goes by so fast so my point the whole point here is listen to when you think about things or if something pops up for you because you never know when the universe is sending you a message unless you stop and pay attention and think about it and realizing that i had just checked out two books along things that i wanted to know more of I thought, you know, that's absolutely true. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to learn some new things and it's going to spark some more things to talk about. And I'm still on my spiritual journey and I hope you'll join me. If you like my videos, like, subscribe, and share. If you know someone else that needs this information, share it with them. Um, if you find that you're learning some new things, like, subscribe, and share. All right, guys. Um, I am going to start doing my readings again really soon here. I look so old. I look tired. <laughs> I don't get off the other job until 10 o'clock at night. And I'm used to being in bed by 6. So we're having to readjust. All right, guys. Never stop growing. Be a light in the darkness. Be somebody's hero today. If you can help somebody in some way, be a hero. Be, you know, a light. And, you know, if somebody, you may come across somebody that just needs five minutes of your time to, to make them feel good for the rest of the day. Be a light in the darkness. We're all connected. Never forget that. We are all connected. Lana Scott Lighthouse.